I hate to break it to you, Gerald, but I think we reached the end of our rope. What do you mean? What I'm trying to say is, I think we're going to have to let you go. You're letting me go? Why? It's... Spit it out. Don't freeze up now. You brought me all the way out here to fire me? Nah. We are firing you because you haven't fulfilled what we hired you to do. We called you in to increase the men's attendance at a church. Is this a joke? I mean, is this for real? Are you here to get the men in order with God? Or are you here for your, oh, I mean, the church's finances? Don't try to turn this on us. This is about you. You haven't asked one time how all the families in this church are doing. Okay, we need your little retreat. The fifth of next month. You got until then to prove us wrong. Three weeks? That's been added on to the two years we've already given you. Expect us to show up at any moment. You're always talking about kingdom men, kingdom men. Now prove it. Now, Pastor, why are you getting fresh with me? Because I'm a pastor, I can't enjoy my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, but my sister will be here in a few. All I need is a few. And that's your problem. And what are you trying to say? If you preach that fast, there will be no reason for people to show up. You still show up. That's because you're good. I know. <laughs> Hello? I'm on my way. You don't care about Eddie. Nobody cares. I care about, I take care of me. You don't take care of me. Pastor, can I speak to you for a minute? Sure. Because for some reason, we all as a community are doing our part to rebuild a community. But every time I look around, I got people around here acting a plum fool. And you supposed to be making a difference. Last I checked, you supposed to be getting them some help. I did. It's not a magic trick. A magic trick? <laughs> Pastor Smith, God bless the dead, he was no magician either. But I don't recall having these same problems when he was pastoring the church. His fault is, is not mine. You, you can't blame his problems on me. Your church member who come to you for spiritual guidance attend your church every Sunday is around terrorizing the community, disrupting the properties, and all you got to say is it's not my fault? 
Now, Tom, you ain't serious, are you? Can't be serious. All I know is since he's been pastor the church, a lot of men in this community ain't been getting the help they deserve. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, I don't know what problem you have with me, but don't blame it on the church. Pastor, at the end, can't nobody judge you, the church, or even Eddie but God. However, he's still a reflection of the fruits of your labor. Now, would you please so kindly remove him from my property? Eddie. Eddie. Eddie! Let's not do this right now, Eddie. Pastor Gerald, Mr. Hotshot. I'm your friend, Eddie. Friend? Friends don't send church members to random meetings with random strangers and tell them that he's a drunk. You're not a drunk, Eddie. He ain't. Shut up! Aren't you supposed to be here to help me? You're just a man with issues, like me. <laughs> issues? Mr. Ride on your high horse pastor? You know nothing about issues. You know, people cater to you. Everyone caters to you. I didn't like but pay for, and they give you all the money. Whoa, well, now, Eddie, you know I don't make no money at that church. <laughs> Eddie, come on now, we family. We can't, we don't do this, we family, Eddie. Family? Eddie. When was the last time you called to check on me? Huh? And you, pastor, I'd have called you way too many times that I should have. When was the last time you returned one of my phone calls? None. None, Eddie. And I, I apologize. All I'm asking is that you please forgive me. And understand that I have a lot of people in this. I'm talking about me. Me right now, pastor. Me. Go home to yours. Ain't that right? No, man. He wants to play pro football like his dad. No, I do. I want to go to culinary school. You love football, Mike. I didn't say that. <laughs> Let me give you one of our pamphlets, honey. Please tell me pamphlets yeah. are like tissue paper. Yeah, just like that dress you got on. How you doing? Did you enjoy the service? Are you going to use these? Because these wasn't handmade. Now, these was made. They, they cost. Okay, if you not get back. Okay, thank you. You be blessed. Hey, what's going on, Superstar? I'm busy, you know. Just trying to feed the family. I heard that. I see. I saw that caddy you pulled up in. That's nice. <laughs> Pretty ancient. Oh, yeah. Think about getting a Bentley next. You know, I saw one in Atlanta. Hmm. Hand cut. Stitched. Mirror-like black piano finish. Hmm. 20-way seats. Innovative 48V electronic active road control system. Active all-wheel drive. Brand new. All right, big time. So, um... How do you like your daughter's new teacher? Miss Winner? Miss, Miss Winner? No, 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 Miss Winner, she left two years ago. <laughs> uh, you know all the teachers at Sunset Park, you know it's hard to remember their names. Sunset Park? Yeah. Sunset Park? Sunset Park, yeah. 
Son, that school closed years ago. All the kids in the neighborhood go to snipe school now. Come on, Brother Bernard. How is it you know about a $200,000 car six hours away, but you don't know what school your daughters go to? <clears throat> Hello? Hey, yeah, we're going to close on your house in the next week. Babe, you look pooped since you left church. I'm fine. I'm just relaxing. It's the minute at church, huh? Is it that obvious? Some of the women may have mentioned a few things, and uh, plus the look you had on your face in the lobby, it said a little bit. I feel like I let God down. I'm the pastor of this church. <laughs> You can't blame men for being men. Well, that's not men being men. Babe, do you know Bernard knows everything about a $250,000 car, but don't know what school his daughters go to? What? Yeah. He still thinks Miss Winter is their teacher. <laughs> Look, you cannot beat yourself over the head because of it. I feel part responsible. <laughs> responsible? Those men know exactly what they're doing. And all you have to do is continue to do what you've been doing. Make sure that this retreat goes off without a hitch. I don't know if that's going to happen. You got to have enough people to qualify for it, and we only got seven. Huh? Yeah, and uh, I agreed to pay six of their way. No, no, no. I know I didn't hear what I just thought I heard. You said that you paid for six men to go act like children. You know that this church only pays you pennies. Baby, I'm sorry. I should have told you first. I suggest that you go down to that church and ask Sister Shirley if the church has the money to pay for your little boy retreat. God has put something on my heart for the men in this church. Okay. And I'm going to need your help. What is it? A donut fundraiser? What a, a fidget spinner? No, 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 no. Sister Shirley, no, no. Oh, okay, Pastor. The men in this church are falling apart. I believe that a men's retreat is a big start to... Help them regain their focus on God in this church. Now that's a big stretch, Pastor. You mean to tell me a man's retreat gonna do all that? I need a retreat fundraiser. But there's only one problem. We need about um, okay, $920 for the men's retreat. <clears throat> $920 million? No, 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 no. $920. That's what I said. $920 million. Do you know what we can do with that, Pastor? We can do that. We can use that for the building fund, transportation fund, the after school fund, and guess what? And the choir shoes fund. Wait, wait. Why do we have a choir shoe fund? Because, Pastor, we can't keep traveling and representing the church wearing them Jesus sandals. We need some new shoes. We need some Jordans, some Air Jordans with the 23 on the bottom and the strap. Wait, 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 Sister Shirley, hold up. Let, seriously, let, let's pray on this. Oh, let's pray about it. Choir shoe fund, 
Men's retreat. Okay. Let's pray on this. Let's pray on it. Okay, let's pray. Lord, touch Michael Jordan, Lord. Bless him. Bless him, Lord. Let his cup run it over to the soles of the feet at this choir, Lord. Please, Lord, do that. Lord, let the soles of his shoes comfort us. Lord, like you did with the man that outran the horse. When he outran the horse, he had on a pair of Jordans, Lord. You know. You know, Lord, could you tell me things? And guess what, Lord? You told me when David knocked Goliath out, it wasn't a stone. Lord, it wasn't a stone. It was a pair of Flight 23s. You know, even, even when Jesus walked on the water, he had on a pair of what? What, Pastor? Even when he walked on the water. Say it with me because I can't hear you, Pastor. Jordan's. <clears throat> Yeah, come on, Pastor. Come on. It's the shoes. It's the shoes. It's the okay, Sister Shirley. No, it's not the shoes. It's not the shoes, okay? It's not the shoes. Okay. It's not. Focus. Okay. Not the shoes. Can we get the money or not? Pastor, what's going on? What's with the tire? Well, Mrs. Fisher was in there with the ladies tonight, and when she came out, she know she had a flat, so she gave me a call. What are you still doing? What do you mean? David, your, your business is eight miles away. Are you trying to tell me that the janitor or, or security couldn't help you fix the tire? Couldn't help Miss Fisher? <laughs> what about Brother James? Look, Pastor, all I know is she gave me a call and I came to help. That's, that's all I know. David? Yeah? You're a good man. I, I just I just thought it was the right thing to do, Pastor. This has got to stop. You can't blame Pastor Gerald. You can't blame yourself either. Just because Sasha died doesn't mean doesn't mean we have to die with her. I know it's hard. It's hard for me too, but we have to move on. We got the money! Did you know we had a choir shoot party? Do me a favor while you're gone. What's that? Don't let me hear that you choke one of those guys. Now, why would I do that? I know you better than you think. Be safe.
Hey, how you doing, Craig? Hey, what's going on, Pastor? Good. Come on in. How was the trip? I mean, it was good, man. I'm just hungry. All right, lunch is right around there. This way? Get this right door. Here? Yeah, right around there. Yep. What's going on, Pastor? Hey, Mr. David, how you doing? Good. You need some help or something? Oh, no, I'm all right, my man. All right. Yeah, okay. go ahead and get lunch around there. Lunch been served. Lance, how's it going, my buddy? Hello, Pastor. I'm good, sorry, man. Oh, Pastor. I see that. Did I hear you say cool? <laughs> yes, lunch is around the corner. Hey, Mac, you can leave your uh, bags in the car. We're eating first. Hey, little Michael, how's it going? Good to see you. Same to you. All right, uh, Michael uh, seemed like he didn't want to come. He wanted to go to a culinary school. Why didn't he go? Wanted to get with some guys, go to football, you know, not cook no soup. I, I don't know. Okay, well, it's all right. Well, lunch is being served, and uh, right. I'll give everybody the keys once we're done. Thank you. All right. Oh. Is anybody else coming in? Oh, oh, my fault. <laughs> cool, cool, all right. Cool. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to be seen. All right, all right. I see you got your luggage and everything. Um, lunch is going to be served right around the corner there. I'll give everybody their keys after lunch. Now, the church is saving a little bit of money, so you can be rooming with Lance. I mean, that's that's okay, ain't it? Nah, nah, I mean, nah, that's okay. That's All cool. right. I mean, unless you want to be by yourself because you sleep upside down like a bat. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. You sure? Yeah. All right. What's wrong with you? Yo, I could have sworn that thing just weeped at me. I gotta spend the whole weekend with you. What's that on your arm? That? That's nothing, little man. My cat's right, right? Has anybody seen Eddie? said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they all have the same language. And now nothing will be restrained from them in which they have imagined to do. It says it right here in the Bible. Genesis chapter 11, verse 6. As long as we are one, we speak the same language, the gospel. Man, there is nothing that we can't do. There's a problem in this church. Simply put, we're not being responsible in this church. And I know you're not being responsible at home because nobody's watching. 
This is up to us to change. Everyone form a circle. Come on, get up. We got a long day ahead of us. Come on. David, I'm handing you this ball. Now, I need you to pass this to someone that's not beside you. It has to be the same person every single time you throw the ball. And that goes for everyone. Say it again. Get focused, Mike. I need you to throw the ball to the same person every single time you throw the ball. We're going to try to do this for five minutes. You ready? Let's go. Come on, Mike. Catch the ball. Win. It's not about winning. It's about responsibility. It's about doing your part so the family can function properly. Let's go. Do it. Let's go again. And this isn't about goofing off. Let's go. Well, I'm a little disappointed that it's just us few, but uh, if that's what God wanted, I accept. There's two rules for these next two days. One is whatever happens here stays here. Can we agree on that? Do you agree, Craig? Huh? Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Accept change. Agree? Guys, I have a confession to make. Before I say it, I want to apologize. I want to apologize to the church, and I want to apologize to you guys. We all know I went to the university in Maine. What was I doing way up there? I'm just a boy from Georgia. Well, um, there was this young girl. This girl was a high school girl who would come on campus and flirt with the college guys. I was one of those college guys. Now, I'm not going to blame the devil and, you know, deny the fact that I knew what was going on between me and her. What I didn't realize that she didn't even attend a university. Long story short, she comes to my dorm one day with a cup full of alcohol. This college guy gets drunk with this high school girl, has sex, and she ended up pregnant two weeks later. Yeah. I'm scared to tell her parents that, well, who seemed to be more frustrated that she had sex with a black guy than anything else. They said I raped her. With no proof of rape, no proof of a fake ID, and a long list of other guys that she slept with on campus. I was the one who served five years. Hmm. Thought I was going to feel better after saying that. Do your wife know about this? You know, Pastor, I think I speak for all of us when I say we honor and we respect your honesty in here tonight. And if it's all right with you, I'd like to pray for you. Yes, sir.
Go ahead and pass it to your boy so he can drop it. Don't worry about him, we got this. Stay focused, Mike. What are you doing? You can't even catch the ball. What are you doing? Stay focused, man. Mac, Mac, we're just having fun, that's all. Winners never quit. Just let him have his moment to himself, right? Hey, you know you need a case on that, man. You could have broke it. Well, my friend owns a cell phone store and I don't have a case. What type of friend are you? This kind of friend. For real, you serious? It's just a case, man. I can get another one on Monday when I go to the store. It ain't no big deal. Oh, man. Yo, I appreciate that. Hey. What do you want from me? Huh? You don't love me. You love Pastor Gerald. His happy wife. Happy family. You let him keep his girls and you took mine away from me. You don't love me. You don't. Dedication, That must have been some dream you were having. I just... I keep having this weird dream, man. Craig, who... Who could, who could you be talking to at 2 o'clock in the morning, Craig? Oh, it's, um, it's nobody. I was just playing a game. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. How's it going? It's good, it's good. Uh, what can I help you with, Nick? So look, I just, I have to just come out and say this. Um, I have an issue with watching inappropriate things online. You what? I have a problem with watching inappropriate things online. Yeah, I heard that. What do you mean by inappropriate things? What I mean is adult content. Hmm. Adult only content. Adult only stuff, stuff, stuff. 
So why didn't you tell me that when you came in and shook my hand? Huh? You know, I've been having this problem for a while, and I, you know, I just feel guilty. You know, me and my wife. Have, like I, I become addicted to watching. I thought you and your wife were happy. I just assumed your sex life wasn't an issue. You know, she's, she's insecure and she's becoming depressed and it's affecting that part of our life. So what are you going to do? What do you mean? What do I mean? One thing I always try to make clear to my daughters is that whatever man they choose to marry Make sure that he makes them better. If a woman doesn't improve from being with the man she's with, then why is she with him? Not, and, I, and I don't mean richer. I mean her flaws should become more flawless. If she's the type to gossip every day to other people, that should cease because when she comes home to you, you're all ears to her. And if she was insecure, before you met her, she should be even less insecure because you tell her she's beautiful every day. See, men always come to me about what their wives are doing wrong. In all honesty, it's what you're not doing. You see? I think I do. Don't oh, come in here. Shake my hand knowing you've been on the internet. Hey, why are you not out there playing with the guys? What's going on, buddy? The basketball situation? It's every day with everything. I don't want to play sports like he did. I want to be a chef. Well, have you told him? I did. He said I to play football. Well, some people only believe in signs and wonders. What do you mean? No matter how many times a person goes to church or listens to the word, their stubbornness or lack of prevents them from understanding. And sometimes it takes a miracle for them to believe. Sometimes you just gotta show them. Are you ready to show them? I mean, you can cook, right? Yes, I'm a beast in the kitchen. Okay. Well, if, if you're a beast, show them you're in a beast. So, you want me to cook? Why not? I got a kitchen full of food, and I'm about to burn it all. <laughs> I mean, at least if you do it, they won't be as hard on you as they will on me. Don't let me get my stuff. All right. That, that was good. It was three times better than lunch. What? Food was good, huh? That's something I need to tell you all about that meal. What, you didn't cook it? You're right. I didn't. I knew it. What restaurant you get it from? Here. Chef Ramsey? Where you at? He's right there. Yo, that's crazy. Your kid cooks like a pro. Mike, you got a gift, son. Seriously. Mike? Mike cooked this? Yes, he did. He been here the whole while. But you made us eat this livestock earlier. Your son is a genius in the kitchen.
I know what my son is. Is this some kind of sick joke? You trying to persuade my son to be a chef? No, man. I just wanted to give him a chance to show you his true gift. So you're his father now. Because you run the church, now you're trying to ruin my house. I'm trying to pull rank in your house, man. I was born to be a chef. Boy, be quiet. But you did. I'm sick of this chef mess. But Dad, I'm good at it. I thought I told you to shut up. Look at what you've done. I'm the daddy in my house, not you. You wanna know what, Mac? You're absolutely right. I'm not the man in your house, and neither are you. You're a bully in your house, and everyone in here knows it. I mean, let's just get right down to the truth, Mac. You're trying to live out your little football dreams by stuffing it down your son's throat. It didn't happen, Mac. Let it go. He's a chef. Let's just keep it 100. You want to keep it 100? Football wasn't a dream for me. It was my life. I gave football everything I had. And it almost cost me everything. You don't know what it's like at the age 15, having to be the band of the house because your father decides to leave the five kids with their sick mother. To go have fun with a 21-year-old girl? You don't. Football was everything I, I had. It was all I knew. It's all I know. Best I can't let my son see me cry. Come on now, Mike. You know your daddy loves you. He just, he just wants what's best for you. That's all. That's what all fathers want. You, you got to listen to him at some point. Just Try to see where he's coming from, right? He's not going to tell you nothing wrong. Talk to him. He won't listen to me. He just needs to hear it from you. You did a good job in there with the food and all. I was very impressed. I could cook like that if I had to. I guess that is your gift. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I hate myself. I just take it out of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I almost ruined you. You're a smart kid. I'm sorry if I suck at being a dad. You don't suck. Man, you're a smart kid. God doesn't say who you want in life, he says who you need. I need you, Dad. Hey, Denise. So nobody's heard from him? Yes, Nick said he talked to him and he was on his way. When was that? That was when we first got here. First got here? A whole day has went by. Nobody called me. Yes, Miss Denise, I apologize. You're absolutely right. We should have called. It's just been a lot going on. A lot going on? My husband could be dead on the side of the road. We didn't think much of it because he's always late or he never shows up. What? That's your excuse? That's how you're going to shepherd your people? We'll try and contact him. My husband could be dead.
two babies. You play too much, man. Uh, good, good, good. Everybody doing good? Yes, sir. See y'all, they're practicing. That's good. A little bit. All right. Pass up a minute and ask you something. What makes you feel like like God told you to have it? Like, how, do you talk to Him or something? It's called relationship. What do you mean relationship? Well, the more time I spend with Him, the easier it is for me to hear His voice or to understand His word. It's like a mother and child. A mother can notice her child's cry amongst a bunch of kids because she has that relationship with the child. She spends time with the child. See, I understand all of that, but... I guess what I'm really trying to ask is like, do, do, like, do, you, do you hear his voice or something? Yeah, I do. It could be any way God wants me to hear it. It could be through a sign on the street, something that someone says, a dream. So, okay, so God spoke to me in a dream once. Oprah was stalking me. Anyway, I, I'm asking because I, I think, I think God's trying to talk to me. And I can't explain it, but I just, it's this dream I keep having. It's me, my wife, a snake. Yeah, so you've been drinking more of that old holy water again, huh? With red wagon, snakes, <laughs> Dr. Seuss dreams. Man, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna head up out of here. Wait, wait. Before you head out, I want to show you all something. You see where those lights are over there? Where those lights are used to be an abandoned church years ago. The city was about half the size that it is now. But they had a bad flu outbreak. I read about that. I read that it was the worst the city had ever seen. And like, they said it was in the air or something like that. And like, as soon as people stepped outside, they got sick. True. The city had never seen anything like it. The hospitals couldn't handle it. Didn't have enough staff or equipment. But that church, the women of that church, they took in those who were sick, those who couldn't wait days to be treated. But there was something special about that story. The men, the men stepped in and helped. They saw it as a responsibility. I want you all to do something for me. All right, come on, form a circle for me. Come on. Right now. Hey, let's get ready to go to uh, last service, okay? Y'all ready? I'll take that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> good practice, good practice, good practice. All right, my man. David, um, it, I think this is your phone. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think this is yours. That's your wife, right? Yeah, that's my wife. Nice picture.
How you doing, son? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Now, you know you're leading us in prayer today. You got it. Look like the spirit already hit you. time in the church with Liz, it wouldn't have happened. I don't want to go to church. She keeps sending me to church so she can be with you. I call you for help, but you don't call me. You know why? You're too busy helping my wife. Right? Let oh, me go. Man. Let me go. David, hold up. Not right now, Lance. I love you. Like, I really love you. Awesome. He loves you like a brother in Christ. Hallelujah. No, Nick. Like a relationship. But, Les, I, I, I ain't gay. And what are y'all looking at me for? Get this under control, Pastor. We told you what would happen if this didn't go well. It's, it's a work of progress. We never wanted you to have this retreat. But you said God called on you. You were just trying to save your job, dragging these men down here for your own selfish plan. But you said God called you. He did. Then why is he saying something different? See you on Sunday. I mean, the beginning of your notice. You know, sometimes we get so caught up in ourselves that we don't realize what's going on around us. I'm sorry. You know what the rainbow really stands for? I mean, look, this isn't easy for me either. You know, some, sometimes when people voice their opinions about homosexuality, it's like, it's like we're the scum of the earth. They treat us just like we're not even equal. We all children of God. Did Jesus say love all? Yeah. But it doesn't mean that God agrees with everything that we do. I mean, it's like our parents who love us dearly, but they don't always agree with everything that we do. I ask every day, why Jesus have to let me be born this way? 
The same reason we're all born in the way that we are, Lance. When a child is born and when they're growing, they're not taught to lie or steal. They just do it. God has a plan for all our lives. And he expects us to do right. Therefore, he gives us the ability to do right. People treat us just like we're not even normal. Like yourself. You walk around here thinking you're better than somebody. Don't you think you should get the log out of your eye before you try to come get the log out of mine? It's not that I... It's not that I don't agree with homosexuality because I think it's wrong. I don't agree with it because I don't think God agrees with it. I wish you could do anything and without hurting anyone. But again, I don't think that aligns with God. But that has nothing to do with me being your friend, Lance. Me denying you friendship or rights because you're gay is insane. Me not agreeing with your homosexuality is my relationship with God. And it has nothing to do with me loving you. I love you, Lance. I love you too, Pastor. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is a great commandment. Craig, what? I need to talk to you guys together before we get out of here. Let's go. I messed up. I know. Jesus and everyone in here knows. You know, David was a good guy. He would, he would give you the shirt off his back. That's true. Son, what you did was very dangerous. And I know you're brave enough to try to fix it. Let's go. What do you expect of us? Hmm? Celebrities cheat on their wives all the time. And some of them are beyond beautiful and they still cheat. So what are you saying, Craig? If celebrities cheat on their spouses, what makes you think that normal people like us won't? Normal people? So you're trying to tell me that a spouse's beauty determines if her husband is going to be faithful to her or not. Son, you got to be dumb as a brick. Okay, look, just because you're my pastor... Dumb as a brick. You heard what I said. A woman's beauty has nothing to do with a boy's self-control. Who are you calling a boy? Men? Men and women don't cheat, son. They don't put themselves in situations to cheat. They don't put their spouses in situations to cheat, and they don't hang around people who are okay with cheating. Boys cheat. I got your boy. Come on, fellas. We are men and God is holding us accountable. Who did God ask about eating from the tree? It was Eve the devil lied to, but God questioned Adam because at the end of the day, he is responsible. We are responsible. It needs to be seen throughout our children's lives, neighborhoods, city, county, state, and the whole world. We got to be the example. Did you know that most children spend more time in school than with their parents? Did you know three quarters of teachers are females? 
It's worse in elementary and middle school. 92% of child care workers are females. The child already spends its first nine months in the woman's womb. Goodness gracious. When are we going to step in? When are we going to step in and lead and try not to control? When are we going to be men? Have you seen Dan? Oh, they're actually in the room having a conference over there, girl. Probably football. <sighs> Hey, good, how are you? All right. Good. Hey, David. Um, pastor's got to talk to you really quick. I'll talk to him after church. Wait, David, please. It's super important. He's got to talk to you. Stability. Don't lose sight of it. Be responsible for who you're throwing the ball to and also be responsible for your own catch. Ms. Jones? Um, wait a minute, babe. I'm sorry. These kids are keeping me busy. Oh, um, you can go. What? I mean, your job is done. You can go. I can go? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I mean, like, you can actually go and enjoy service. You don't have to sit here and work like a slave every Sunday. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Make sure that all the diapers are put away so we have them for next Sunday. You won't be coming back here next Sunday. Why? I thought we were doing a good job. You do. You are. Look, you and all the women always do. But the men don't appreciate it, and that's not being a man. But yeah, you're more than welcome to come back here anytime because I know you love doing your job. Mm. But the truth is, the men just need to be a little more active in the church. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, I thought you'd see it like that. Go enjoy yourself. wrong I need to tell you something I'm just gonna be man enough 
and apologize for you for not having told you sooner. Remember when I told you I attended school in Maine? Yeah. I did, but online. It's because this girl named- Susan McKay. Yeah. She lied and said that you raped her. Her family lied and because they didn't want anybody to know that a well-to-do family had a daughter that was lying about her age, skipping school and sleeping around. I didn't mean to hurt you, baby. You didn't hurt me. I'm just relieved that you stepped up and admitted it. Why didn't you tell me you knew? That was not my job. That was your job. My job was to be the best godly wife I could be. How did you know? <laughs> How did you find out? <laughs> Y'all men think women are stupid. I researched you before our first date. <laughs> you were in cell block 27D and your inmate number was 421882. <laughs> I can see one better. When you first got there, you were in a cell with Jeremiah Dotson. And then after 18 months, you were in the cell with some guy with the last name of Zachary. <laughs> that dude was crazy. I don't know how you stayed in there with him. Were you like some kind of FBI agent in your former career or something? No. I am a woman. Not a girl, but a woman. I had to know what I was getting into. Okay. Being an FBI agent isn't that bad. So how about I start by inspecting you?
Thank you.